Welcome to part two of how to succeed on YouTube. I'm your resident fairy diamond. If you haven't seen part one, how to succeed on planet YouTube, I'll link a card in the upper right hand corner. So you can go check that out first and come back to watch this. All right, you've landed on planet YouTube. Now what? I'll let you know in a second. Community guidelines, copyright claims, copyright strikes. Please read and understand the rules. Google search YouTube community guidelines and YouTube copyright rules and each time click the first thing that pops up. Editing mistakes. When you're done editing, exporting takes up quite a bit of space and time and uploading takes up quite a bit of time as well, especially if you have a crappy Wi-Fi like I do. So please do not export unless you have proofread everything. Check my pinned tweet. It takes me about 40 hours to upload a 12 minute video, not including the time it takes to film, edit and export. So please make sure whatever you're posting, you check, double check and triple check before you export. Best mobile apps for editing YouTube videos. Firstly, you must have the YouTube Studio app before any of these. I'll list the must haves out of all that I've tested and I'll put them in order for you on the screen Vlogstar, Viva Video, InShot, Canva, Bazart, iMovie is trash, don't at me and the Enlight package which includes PhotoFox, Pixel Loop, QuickShot, Video Leap and Quick Art. Now, Vlogstar tops them all in my opinion even though the music selection is copyrighted and the voiceovers are not great. I can only speak on mobile apps because I don't have a laptop and these are the apps that I use daily on my phone for all my editing needs. But if you use something else, you can put me on as well. Just don't tell me about iMovie. Live videos. Go live during days you're not editing or whenever you can. Answer questions, do funny stuff, show the unedited version of yourself. Personality. If you don't have one, fake it. Just don't pretend to be someone who actually exists, like a celebrity or a fellow YouTuber. Your voice. Don't be fake, okay? The overly high-pitched voice doesn't work unless that is your actual voice. Speak clearly and not too fast. Everyone on earth has an accent, so don't even worry about it. Whoever wants to hear what you're saying will listen. The description. You don't have to put anything in your description unless you want to leave a disclaimer, thank people for watching, plug your socials, or give credit for people's work or music that you use. You can also add timestamps, more hashtags, affiliate links, you know, people who sponsored your video, anything you want to put in the description, it is free for you to put it there. Timestamps. If you have an extra long video and you cover different topics, I'm guilty of that, uh, type it in your description starting with zero colon zero zero to signify the start of your video. You can check the description of this video to see what that looks like. Promoting yourself. You should be on every social media site daily. You should be posting at different times throughout the day to ensure you reach as much people as possible. For me, I have about three or four standard messages that I wrote and I tweak each one each time I have a new upload. Then I share that to all my social media up until the day that I post the next video or I can write something different because I'm not short on ideas. If you can afford it, paying for promotion on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, etc. would help in getting you more views on your channel. Um, also, if you have merch, please do not wear it in every video. 
we see you we get it we're something else okay please also join different groups on social media particularly facebook so you can share your content around when you join these groups do not fall into the sub for sub trap as i mentioned in part one you do not want to risk your channel getting deleted extras whether you have bloopers or funny stuff you didn't or can't post on youtube people love extra stuff especially if you're brightening their day you know you have a cute animal or a cute baby people will want to see more of you you can create a patreon mine is linked in the description go check it out or you can create an OnlyFans account to give your supporters special access. OnlyFans does not have to be Do something different. It's tiring. Collaborations If you have a YouTuber friend or someone who you really like that you can reach out to and make a video with, go for it 100%. A lot of the times people think they have to collab with other people who have similar content or similar amount of subscribers or similar looks. That is not the case. Collab with someone you think you can make a great video with. People are allowed to like different things. This does not apply to my channel because I will be dabbling in almost everything eventually so anyone can collab with me. Um, for example, if you're a baker, don't say, oh, I'm a baker, so I can only collab with other bakers with the same amount of subscribers as me. No, collab with a music channel, collab with a gardening channel, okay? Another example is you can be a makeup artist and collab with a footballer because you can do a football-themed makeup look. Okay, do not limit yourself. If the vibe between the persons, you and the other person is great, that's all that matters. Go for it. The last point we're going to talk about is taking care of yourself. This is the most important and your mental health should be top priority. YouTube can get very strenuous, especially for people who are doing it part time. People who take a long time to edit or creatives like me who find it very difficult to say they like something that they did okay if you're doing YouTube part-time along with another job such as being a mom a business owner etc scheduling will be your best friend because you can film edit at convenient times during the day or night if you take a long time to edit, you need to schedule more time to edit, but split it into sections to avoid you burning out. For example, if you have a plan where you want to do two hours a day editing, you can do four different sets of 30 minutes. YouTube is supposed to be a fun way to give an outlet to your creativity. If you're not doing well mentally, as I said in part one, it's okay to take a break. I took one, totally fine. Eat healthy, drink a lot of water, get fresh air, shower, exercise, and go by your schedule. Also, lastly, unless your skin is made out of 100% leather, do not respond to hate comments. Your channel has to start off small, so with a small amount of comments, it's easier to see if you get any hate, but as your channel grows, you get more and more comments, so scrolling past 50 or 100 or maybe even a thousand positive comments to see one negative comment, then talking about that negative comment for the next 10 videos, it's not good for your mental health and it's gonna get annoying for your audience so don't do that you should instead see the positives of each negative comment which is the person watched your video commented on your video possibly shared and maybe even disliked your video which is really what you want people to do you want people to engage if you can't take the heat Focus on the positives. 
When you've been doing everything correctly for a while, pushing out quality content, the right people will notice. You'll be surprised at how many small YouTubers who do a lot of collabs with brands or promotions, get sent stuff or have affiliate links in their description. So just be patient and consistent. Your time is coming. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I wish you all the success you can possibly achieve ever in life. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.